teacher. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. How are you tonight, Susie? ¿Cómo estás? Uh, I am great. Okay. Tell Mire, me. Mire, teacher, ¿cómo se, cómo se, eh, ¿cuál es el possessive pronoun de they? De, sería their. Their. Uh -huh. Y para decir sus empleados. Eh, pero si cuando decís sus, te referís a una persona, a tu jefe o uh -huh. a un equipo. Entonces sería his. His. Oh, sí, aunque suene como plural. Uh -huh. bien, porque si te das cuenta es como bien, bien engañoso. Porque uh -huh, sus uh -huh. se escucha como plural, pero no. Por ejemplo, um, se dice sus porque estás hablando de ciertas personas. Por ejemplo, um, si estás hablando de... Bueno, tenés a, tienen ahijados en tu familia. O, tienen, eh. o sobrinos. Sobrinos, sobrinos. Uh, no, todavía no, solo son mis hijos nada más. Ok, vaya. No, no, pero en tu familia en general, me imagino. O te, vaya, tenés uh. mascotas. Así tenés mascotas. Sí, sí, entonces, sí, tengo a mi gato. Vaya, entonces tenés dos y yo estoy hablando de vos. Ah, sí, es que eso sí. Eso sí, es a very interesting person. En her cats, sus gatos, en her cats are really angry. Son bastante enojados. Ya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yeah. Entonces así, entonces sería her en tu caso. Y estoy hablando de sus gatos, de tus gatos, y que son varios. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces sí sería. Entonces en este caso podría ser como his, así como me dice his, uh -huh. sus empleados. Sí, porque está hablando. Eh, sí, como la compañía en general sería eso lo adecuado. Ah, um, si estás hablando de la compañía. En ese caso, uh, sería it's. It's. Uh -huh. Sería it's, por ejemplo. Ajá, si estás hablando de uh, super selectos, por ejemplo. Yo estoy hablando de super selectos. Uh -huh. Well, super selectos is a good company. And its employees are very hardworking. Y sus empleados, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. son, uh -huh, son como, eh, ¿qué? Bien trabajadores. Entonces, el punto acá es que están diciendo que los empleados de super selectos. Uh -huh. Entonces se basa en la persona, no en el objeto. Ya, se basa de quién, a quién le pertenece. Vaya, le voy a poner, por ejemplo, algo que yo he escrito, no sé si será bien así, va, uh -huh. pero por ejemplo, die, they care about the mental health of, o sería entonces en este caso, of his employees. ¿Está uh -huh. bien así o, o cambio el day? O sea, yo me refiero a eso con la compañía, así como le digo, va. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A ellos, ¿está bien así entonces? Yeah, the company, the company takes care of its employees, its, de sus empleados, porque está hablando de una compañía y esa compañía tiene sus empleados. Ok, va, chévere. Thank you. No sé si nos vemos mañana, a la luna. ¿Verdad? El relajo te extrañaba, Susi. A usted cierta, también le hace falta el relajo. Igual que cierta persona que está aquí calladita. She's very quiet. She's like listening, está escuchando. Yo solo observo. Ah, hola Claudia, escucho. hola Claudia. Hello, ah, bueno. teacher. Bueno, hello. <laughs> okay, you're very fancy. Está bastante eh, elegante. Thank you. Is your yeah, uniform? Not... Your uniform? Yes. Okay, yeah, that happens that sometimes we have your uniform, but you feel comfortable. Te sientes cómoda, you feel comfortable. Yes. Yes, see, yeah, that's why. Because in my case, when I come from, from, from my job, I get dressed differently. I change my clothes. Me cambio la ropa. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, that's why. But, but well, in your case, that's nice that you feel comfortable. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. So um, let's see. Carla, the rebellious girl. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Okay. Hey, Carla, do you have another tattoo? Or only one? Uh, no. No, only one. Solo uno. Uh, no. How many do you have? ¿Cuántos tienes? Bueno, ok. Uh, do you uh, have another? Tienes otro. Nine. Tienes otro. Nine. <laughs> yeah. Ok, <laughs> that, that, that's interesting. Uh, I like, I like to choose, but I'm afraid of needles. Las agujas. Me da miedito. I don't like them. I, nah. I don't like them. Yeah, no. it nah. well, it doesn't hurt. No duele. Really. No, nah. solo nah. el primero. Only the first one. Okay. Well, a nice experience. 
Okay, now here we have also Mercy. Full faith. Hello, Hello Mercy. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, are you at home, right? At home? Yes. Okay, no, no, that's no. nice. Uh, Mercy, I'm sorry. I uh, Could you tell me your occupation, please? What's your occupation? Because I don't remember. My occupation, purchasing assistant, pharmacy, San Roque. Ah, purchasing assistant. Okay, you're in charge of sales. Okay, what, what are the products that you sell? What are some products? Product of pharmaceuticals. Ah, from the drugstore, uh -huh. okay, from the sí, pharmacy. Okay. Asistente de compra de Farmacia San Roque. Okay, wow, interesting, interesting. So here we have Veronica, hello, Vero. Hello, teacher. Hello, I like your hair color. That's nice. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's uh, you, well, that's the color that you prefer or do, well, do you have another color for your hair? Brown, maybe, light brown or black? Brown. Brown also, okay, that's nice. What about blondie? Edges, green. Green, okay, yes, why not? <laughs> Yeah, you can combine also with your clothes or especially when you're on vacation, right? You can do it. Yes, of course, yes, I like it. And here we have also Clau. Hello, Clau. Oh, hello, teacher. Hello. Hey, Clau, you look like a friend of mine. Te pareces a una amiga. Yes, uh, but <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, yes, yeah, but she lives in Planes de Renderos. Yeah, maybe it's your sister, your lost sister, tu hermana perdida. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay, then we have Dorita, hello Dora. Good evening. Good evening, Dorita. How was your day? Good, normal, good, tiring, cansado. Yeah, normal. Normal, okay. We also have Diego, hello Diego. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I, I can see that you're like caps, right? You're a cap yeah, lover. All the yeah. time. Okay, how many caps do you yes. have at home? I have four caps. Okay. Are they from yeah. different colors? Or do you like dark yeah. colors? Yeah. Dark colors, mostly. Yes. I, I, I like. Okay, they, they are I easy like to all, combine, right? I know. And especially when you yes. want to comb your hair, it is easy. You just wear it. <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's nice. And yeah. um, Andreita. Hello, Andreita. Are you texting with your ex boyfriend or your previous? No, teacher. No. <laughs> no. I can see the reflex uh, uh, yeah, on your glasses. I'm easy. I really miss you. Okay. Okay. No, so. estaba haciendo la tarea porque mm -hmm. acabo de venir. Okay, entonces, procrastinating, no, procrastinating, <laughs> procrastinando. Okay, yes. Okay, Andreita. We have also Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Marlon. I thought it was like a Pink Floyd shirt, but no, it is. No, no, it, it has a school and it yes. has the, the Ace of Spades. Really? Well, what, what, what band does it belong yeah. to? Uh, no, no, it, From it is about Harley Marlon. Davidson. Aha, uh -huh. okay. What do you say? What do you say, Diego? Sorry. I know a, a song from Motorhead that is called. Is it from Ace Motorhead? Yeah, Ace. well. Ace of Spades, Motorhead. Well, yes, yeah, but, it's but not. This, this, okay, this where... from Harley Davidson. Yes, from Harley Davidson. Ah, oh, okay. So that's nice. but the Ace of Spades, yes, it's a Motorhead album. Very nice. Wow. I, ha I, ha I have to listen uh, to it. I don't know. Okay. okay. Because I don't know him. Yeah, I don't know it. Okay. Nice, nice, wonderful. And I can see. And I was uh I was checking the name of Mercy. And like Mercy Full Faith. <laughs> it's a good name, Mercy, right? <laughs> Mercy and Maya. I can't even know this band, but, but it's a good one. Algún día lo conoce Mercy. I don't like it, but I, you don't like I it, know, but I don't like it. You don't like it. No, yeah. No. Well, honestly, I uh, well, I prefer King Damon's music, but I like Mercy. Yeah. Okay, that, that's nice. I prefer, I prefer you prefer King Damon as, as well? 
Kim Diamond, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And what about Carmen? Hello, Carmen. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm very happy. You're very happy. Uh, tell me, are you having vacations next week? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I can see you are so smiley. Okay, good for you. I don't know if the rest of you, my friends, are having vacations, but I hope so. Espero que si las tenga. If not, in case you're not having vacation, you're having more money, okay? Van a tener más pistos, so, yeah. That's life, that's life way. Okay, nice, Carmen, good for you. Um, Kevin, hello, my friend. The gentleman in red. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Kevin, uh, tell me, how much time have you practiced uh, or have you played guitar? Um, like one year, two years, or more than that? Uh, like three months. Ah, really? Recently? Okay. You started recently. Okay, that's nice. Okay, keep on doing. Okay, continua. Okay, I know that it is difficult when you turn to F, F4, cuando haces el FA. Uh, a lot of people get disappointed. Mucha gente se, se, se decepciona cuando llegas al FA, but you. Keep on doing. Vos seguí, oíste. Sí, de hecho, eh, uno es como que piensa, ¿verdad? Que, ah, no, nunca voy a aprender ni nada. No, no, yes, yes. No. It is normal. And sometimes you, like, let your instruments away, and then you continue. Like, maybe one or two months later, ¿verdad? Dos meses después, un mes después, uno continúa. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am a, a, a music teacher as well. Soy profesor de música y... Y he visto muchos casos, yes. Even in my case, I learned by, my, by myself, con, aprendí yo solo, con muchas cosas en la vida. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, but that's nice. Keep on doing it, my, my friend. No te vas a, a arrepentir. You're not going to regret. Ahí voy a puros tutoriales. Yes, that's, yeah. Of course, the best master, YouTube. <laughs> okay, and we have also Helen that she's getting connected. Okay, we're going to... We're going to start uh, now, and uh, we're using time expressions for regular activities. And just, uh, I want to mention something that as I have told you before, that we, well, I know that maybe some of you have been or have taken English courses in different places and the teachers or the courses have like a different uh, like resources, tienen como bastantes recursos. And in the case of here uh, in support courses, it is difficult to use uh, like extra materials, ¿verdad? No, no podemos usar materiales extra y a veces eso nos limita hasta cierto punto. Así que tenemos que crear un poco nuestro material y ver cómo, cómo jugamos con el manual, ¿verdad? No podemos utilizar, ¿verdad? Material extra de internet, lastimosamente. But I try to to give you or to teach you in different ways. Si se dan cuenta, también trato de, de, de tener como parte de speaking, parte de listening, eh, like completing some sentences, eh, para completar oraciones, para que no sea el mismo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que it is difficult to, to, to be seated like two hours, do, dos horas sentados, yeah. I know that it is difficult, but I try to do it like uh, in a very friendly way como una forma muy amistosa, ¿ok? En el caso, porque sí me, me, me preguntaron en el chat si podía poner música o algo así. Believe me, I would like to. I really love to. Realmente me encantaría ponerles música. Ok, yo, solo, yo sé que música no les podría poner porque ya conozco sus gustos. La mayoría, o sea, que a algunos les gusta el relajo. I know that you like mess. El relajo les gusta. Some of you like... Huh? Mejor ni le digo el estilo de música de Susi porque Susi es very special. But, well, in any case, we're, we're going to have different activities. Okay. So, um, time expressions regular for regular activities. And we have one, the, the, the first question, what fictional place would you like to visit? Maybe talking about um, movies, talking about books, because, um, the, well, you can find different environments in, in books, uh, for example, The Matrix, or Lord of the Rings uh, places, um, 
we can have like uh, if, if we read if we read some books uh, related to for example Julio Verne and, and some other you can find different places that maybe we we would like to visit so in talking about that uh, Veronica do you have a special place that you would like to visit maybe a, a place that you saw in a, in a in movie fantasy Islam fantasy island okay island. yes porque island es islandia mm -hmm. so nah. island yeah. ah, pues, ambas oh, well <laughs> okay, so, it's gratis it's for free <laughs> okay good okay fantasy island uh, is is it from a movie yeah yes well maybe i didn't see, I Así didn't se see llama. It. okay maybe if you recommend <laughs> it uh, maybe i will see it on vacations Okay, thank you, Veronica. What about Marlon? Tell me, my friend. Yes, I would like to visit uh, the Howard School from Harry Potter. From and Harry Potter, okay. Th that's a fictional place, and a real place is the the um, Blood uh, Castle from Dracula. Of ah, from Dracula, Romania. Ah. Yes, yes, I think, I don't know if, yes, it, it really exists, right? Yeah, it is for real. Is it, is it, is it real? Okay, yeah, wow, <laughs> well, maybe, to, to, to spend a night in there, pasar una noche ahí, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, why not, why not, okay, good. Hey, can, could you imagine the, well, the wonderful picture that you maybe uh, would get? No, foto increíble que podrías tener ahí. Okay, what about Cloud? Tell me, Cloud. A fictional place, a fantasy place, cloud. Not ready. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Uh, let's go with Carmen. Um, Jurassic Park. Oh, okay, mm. Jurassic Park. Okay, um, from the there are five movies. The first three are named Jurassic Park, and the recent ones are Jurassic World. And uh, which one would you like to visit? Mm. Because the, there is uh, Sorna Island, Island B, I don't remember. But um, from the first movie, the second movie, or the third movie? The third movie. The third movie, okay. Yeah, why not? And uh, what about Andrea? And then Claudita. Vaya. Uh, Vaya. I have two places. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my That's it for <laughs> Number one is... Howard of Harry Potter Howard. and uh -huh. number two, Riven, Rivendell. Rivendell, okay. Para Howard, mm -hmm. le, se lo voy a, lo voy a enviar en, en combo con Marlon para que salga barato. <laughs> okay, Rivendell is from Lord of the Rings, yes? Sí. Where the elves uh, live. No los elfos, mm -hmm. pero son los elfos, no son del bosque. Well, yeah, Rivendell is sí, the place. Sí, son los del sí. bosque porque ahí vive este, Legolas. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. good, Andrea. Thank you. Well, nice. We are, I would like to visit there. Good. And what about Claudita? Tell me. Oh, pues a mí también me va a mandar en el combo. Sí, the the fictional place is Howard Casting for the Harry Potter. Harry Potter. You know that that place. Well, yes. I, I I remember that there are some pictures, some paintings that they move, right? Or yes. they speak, they, they speak, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. But uh, maybe in the book, by reading the book, you can imagine more things that happens. Yeah, that usually happens. That you can imagine more uh, like details because, well, by reading, of course, because it depends on your imagination. Okay, now let's go with Diego. Tell me, Diego, do you have a special place or, or two places? Uh, yeah, I have two two places mm -hmm. that I would like to visit. Yeah, the first one is Isengard, because oh. I, I want to know the the northern god. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Odin or in the Valhalla too. Oh wow! Yes. Yeah, but but the Valhalla yeah. is like the hell, right? Not necessary. No, not necessary. Like the sky. Ah, yes, 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 like yes. I have uh, like heaven, right? When, when you like when, heaven, yes, yeah, when like a Viking heaven. Viking dies, Viking, so that, that, drinking a lot of beer, <laughs> a lot of beer, and yeah. having a lot of fun, and a lot of you know, 
yeah, a lot of different <laughs> things. Okay, yeah. that, that's nice. Yes, I saw uh, this year that it is Vikings, and I saw third se uh, three seasons. Yeah, but, uh, the way that they describe it is like very very interesting. It is like you can imagine a lot of things. Okay, so good. I very think very I think okay, that. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, tell me. Oh no, I think that there. I don't know, Marlon. Tell me if there is a. I don't know. Yeah, there is a a bar named Valhalla here in San Salvador. No. Valhalla. No. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think yes. That uh, there is. Yes. I but uh, I think it doesn't exist right now. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Like Luna Casa y Arte, that it is a. <laughs> yes. Yes, but it, it was a Valhalla bar. Now it's Buos Pizza. Yes, I had, now it's Buos Pizza. Yes, that's it. Okay, well, yeah. nice. Okay, good, uh, good information. Now, what about if we had Kevin? Okay, Kevin, do you have a specific place? Which would you like uh, to see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Tak Mahal in India. It's one ah, of the. It's a, a temple. A, a really big temple, right? Un templo grande, inmenso. No. The Taj Mahal? No. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Yeah, I think it is one of the seven wonders in the world. Una de las siete maravillas. Me parece que es, yep. Okay. So, Kevin, quita el nota. Sí, así es. Okay. Nice. Good. Thank you. And what about Mercy? Okay, Mercy, tell me. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. And the fictional place you will visit is Pax and Fulus. Okay, the fictional place I I will visit. Mm -hmm. ah, yes, I'm sorry. Ah. Mm -hmm. I will. Pax and Furious. No sé si así sería. Okay, Pax and Furious. I think that there are like 100 movies of, of that saga, but uh, could you mention any the number of, of the movie? Because uh, the, the movie or the story takes place in different countries. Do you remember one that you like the most, your favorite? Number three, number five, because number three it takes place on, in, in Tokyo, number five in Brazil. Number five. Ah, number five. Hey. Baila samba, gitana samba. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Baila samba con Dorita. Okay. So, um, well, we're going to continue later with the rest of you. I know that you are uh, ready to, to, to tell me that the fictional places, uh, some of the, well, some of the, the places that you have mentioned are uh, sounds like, uh, sound like very interesting. But now we have ways to say, I think um, in the previous module, I uh, presented you different phrases or different words to express uh, this well, the, the, this idea to say I think, and you can start uh, by giving your opinion using these phrases. For example, if a person uh, talks about money laundering, el lavado de dinero, if uh, imagine you are in, in a in a yeah in a like in a discussion, and you are expressing your idea, you're giving your opinion, you can say I believe. I guess the way I see it, I am of the opinion that, as I see it, I consider it seems to me that I am convinced that, so you can say uh, one of these instead of using I think, en lugar de decir I think, I think, I think, es como el mismo ejemplo que les digo. Cuando le, le preguntan, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. No, you can say, yeah, I'm cool, I'm perfect. Okay. Uh, so I believe, I guess, the way I see it, I am of the opinion that as I see it, I consider, it seems to me that I'm convinced that. And you can spread your idea, for example, if you are talking about homeworks, you're, I don't know if you remember, well, 
the topic of band homeworks para eliminar las tareas, por ejemplo. You can say, mm, the way I see it, homeworks are so important that they should be present in every class or before or after any class. Y está diciendo que mm, así como lo veo, la manera como lo veo, eh, las tareas siempre deben estar presentes antes o después de cada clase. So that's it. I believe, yo creo, I guess, igual, ¿verdad? Guess es suponer, ¿verdad? I guess. The way I see it, la manera en como yo lo veo, I am of the opinion that, soy de la opinión que, as I see it, como lo veo, I consider, it is, this is very obvious. It seems to me that seem, es un verbo que significa parecer. It seems, he utiliza la S porque estamos con it, ¿verdad? It seems to me that, I am convinced that, estoy convencido de. So I need you to pick one and say it, okay? So we're going to start with uh, Dorita and then Marlon, okay? So pick one and say it. I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe, yes, Marlon, then Andrea. The way I see it. Perfect, Andrea, then Veronica. I guess. I guess, Veronica, then Diego. Pero. Ways to say I think, then way I see it. Mm, okay, the way I see it. Okay, Diego, then Kevin. I'm of the opinion of that. Perfect. Kevin, then Claudita. I guess. I guess. Claudita, then Mercy. It seems to me that. Perfect. Mercy, then Carmen. The way I see it. See it. Good. I see it. Okay. Carmen, then Carla. I convinced that. Nice. Carmen, eh, Carla, then Clau. I convinced that. I convinced that. Yeah. Clau, then Susie. I believe. I believe. Yes. I believe that I can fly. Okay. Susie, then Helen. I'm of the opinion that. Good. Helen, then Christian. I guess. Good. Christian, then Edgar. I'm uh, of the opinion that. Yes, good. Edgar. Uh, I believe. Good. Good one. Okay, so just in this case, I am, as you mentioned, as you pronounce it, you did it good. I am the opinion. Porque si esta fuera una consonante, diría the. Por ejemplo, the, the the car, the book, but as uh, here we have a, a vowel, yeah, uh, we have to say I'm of the opinion that, okay? For you to expand your vocabulary. Solo para ustedes, para que expandan su vocabulary. So uh, yesterday we were talking about activities that usually we do or some employees do on Mondays, okay? So on Mondays, I, I check my email, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, Call clients, read a report, visit clients, and organize meetings. So here we have complete the sentences below with one of these activities from the box. Vamos a elegir una. So um, I will need Susie to start. Pick one of these, okay? And uh, we can use one of these activities for these sentences. Okay, Susie, take your time. But first, I need that Carla reads number one. Carla, I call. Mm, yo primero, ¿cómo? No, no, Carla first. You think of, uh, in advance. Piensa como por adelantado en alguna de esas. Okay, Carla, I call clients. I, I call. Clients. I call clients every, every day. Every day. Every day he use the company. Okay, phone. Phone. Okay, I use the companies because this is a possessive noun, phone. Okay, thank you. Susie, then we go with Edgar. What number, okay. Susie? Number two. Okay, let's go with number two. Oh, secretary, Sería uh, great report. Then she sent them via email. Okay, uh, our secretary writes a report. Okay, aquí venimos con un tema que vamos a ver más adelante. 
Yeah, the secretary may be king writes a report, pero eso va más que todo para otro tipo de funciones o otro tipo, uh, maybe another type of, of jobs, okay? Maybe it is not write a report, but um, let's think about another option, Susie. Because our boss can write a report. Uh, the people who write report are the ones that are in charge or, or personal. Normalmente la, la gente que está encargada de personal. En personal utiliza el report. ¿Cuál otra podría ser, Susie? Mm -hmm. Our secretary. Okay, I'm going pues, to give. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to give you time. Relax. Time. Relájate, relax, chill out. Así como decir, relax. <laughs> okay, uh, we go with Veronica. And then Mercy. Um, and in two or secretary, check my email. Okay. And, uh, okay, vaya, so si piensa en otra, porque ya me la ganaron. Ver, verito, vaya. La próxima verito, ahí me elegís otra, porque ya estaba apartada. Vaya. Como las tortillas, okay. cuando ya están apartadas. Okay. Pero vamos. Our secretary, our, our secretary, mm -hmm, sorry. Check my email. Ok. Como estamos usando, as we are uh, using third person, check. Checks. Ah, okay, checks my email. Yes. Our secretary checks my email, then she sends them via. Mm, sería así. Nuestra secretaria revisa eh, nuestro, mi correo. Luego lo envía vía email. Mm, no, mm, that's correct. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, what did you say, Diego? Sorry. Este, ten es, no es reenviar. Uh, check es revisar. No, ten, ten, ten. Then, then, entonces. Mm -hmm. Acá. Ella lo envía. Mm -hmm. Entonces ella lo uh -huh. envía. Mm -hmm. O sea, lo revisa y lo reenvía. No, no es reenviar, es no, enviar nada más. No, ah, send okay. es enviar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, tal vez podría ser number two, eh, type a letter. Yeah, yeah, could it be, could it be, yeah. Our secretary, como estamos utilizando tercera persona, ¿cómo podría ser? Types. Yep, oh, ok, we're going to use this. Ok, pero think about another, Mercy, and then Diego. Ok, Mercy. You have one? Excuse me, number two? Or... Hey, number two is taking. Aquí por eso le puse esta línea. Toda perfecta. Que ves acá. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo. Okay, um, Diego, are you ready? Then Veronica. Yeah. And the number three. Okay. I think that it is... Um, I check my email. Twice a day, I use my laptop computer. Okay, yeah. Why not? Twice a day. And, and it's important. And four, Seria, I attend a meeting three, every Monday at eight. Yeah, perfect. But I have to. I have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to attend a meeting. Meeting. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Every, every Monday, Monday at, and eight. At, at eight, eight o'clock. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Merci. And then we're having Marlon. Marlon, you, I need you to create one sentence in number six using one of these, okay? Number okay. five. Number Cecilia five. Organize meetings. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Okay. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Okay. Auditorium. Bien. Excellent. But in this case, Celia, uh -huh. como estamos utilizando tercera persona, Celia. Celia. Uh -huh. No ves una preciosa S que acabo de hacer acá. Organi organize. Organizes. 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 Okay. Okay, organizes. Uh, Miris, yep. Marlon, my friend, go ahead. Eh, podría ser, uh, my boss, uh, write a report. Uh, after every meeting? Yes, definitely. My boss writes a report. Writes. Yeah, writes a report. After every meeting, and that, that, that is very common, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to have a worksheet in this case. So before having the worksheet, uh, I just want you to remember that for third person in affirmative, 
simple present affirmative, we have an S. Ok, agregamos una S para las terceras personas. Ok, and, and obviously the third person, vamos a ver. Andrea, ¿cuáles son las terceras personas las que arruinan nuestra vida? ¿Quiénes son? Él. Las terceras personas. <risa> sí, y he. Ajá, las que arruinan una he, relación. Sí, y. Ok, eh, he, she, he, it. She, yeah, it. In that order. Ok, yes. Los que nos arruinan la relación. Ok. And for negative, we use don't. Ok, if I say you live, you, you may say for negative form, you don't live. But in the third person, we use doesn't. Ok, doesn't. Ya no decimos he lives, no decimos he doesn't lives. Ya no tenemos una S acá. Ok, so this is very important because we're going to practice with some sentences. Ok, and I need you to have it clear. Ok, quiero que te, lo tengan bastante claro eso. Ok, so remember to add an S, there are some exceptions. Hay varias excepciones dependiendo de los verbos. Ok, so. Sentences from 25 to 36. So I need you to think in advance para, bueno, eso es lo que casi siempre les digo en la mayoría de mis cursos. Entonces, yo sé que ya tenemos ya ganas. Tranquilo, relax, relax. <laughs> um, siempre piensen con anticipación, ¿verdad? Porque cuando les pregunto si se dan cuenta, yo siempre digo, por ejemplo, um, Susi, merci. Entonces, mientras le estoy eh, while or meanwhile, I am listening to Susie, Mercy. You should be ready in advance. ¿Verdad? Mientras yo estoy escuchando a Susie, Mercy, tienes que estar como atenta a cuál me vas a decir para ahorrar tiempo y que la clase se, ve, se vuelva más fluida, para que tenga más flow. ¿Ok? So, uh, Carmen, you're going to start. And after Carmen, we're having Dorita. ¿Ok? So, pick Teacher, one. Teacher, se lo ponga un ratito, un ratito el cuadrito anterior, por favor. Okay. ok, go ahead. Uh -huh. Mira, si vas a tomar screenshots, me decís porque después me hacen stickers. Ok. After that, I am a victim of bullying. Okay. So Thank victim. you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. No worries. Peace and love. Ok, so now that we are ready with this, more than ready, están listos para divorciarse y no y otro matrimonio, ok, from 25 to 36, uh, who's the first one, who's the first one, Carmen, right, ok, uh, yes, Carmen, and then Dorita, uh -huh. my parents love uh, me a lot, what number, I'm sorry, uh, 25, 25, ah, yeah, yes, yeah, my parents love me a lot, Love me a lot. Yes, I know. And I'm pretty sure that that's true. Okay, Dorita, we go. And after that, we go with Christian. 26. Okay. My granny love me a lot too. My granny? My granny is no uh, my granny con s el verbo con s porque granny es mi abuela mi abuelita. my granny loves me a lot too mm -hmm. yes my granny loves me como my mother loves me my aunt loves, loves me. me yes nice okay uh, christian you go and then uh, kevin uh, 28 28 the animals, the animals uh, drink water. The animals drink water. Yes. Yes, it's plural. Me recuerdo un grupo de Argentina que se llamaba animal. Okay. Um, what about, what about, what's next? Edgar, right? No. No, it's Kevin. Ah, Kevin. Okay, Kevin Costner. Go ahead. What number? 29. 29 after you, well, after you, we're having Marlon. Okay, 29. Sería the children's play in the morning. Okay. Yes, it's correct. The children play in the morning. Pero como aquí dice the child. Oh, oh the oh, child. No. Es tercera persona, uh -huh, the child. Mm -hmm. Sería play con ese. The child. Mm -hmm. Place in the morning. 
Yeah, of course. Marlon, you go and then Cloud. Okay, uh, number uh, 33. Okay, 33. The mother and her child help each other. Yeah, help each other. It is plural. One plus one equals two. Thank you. Okay, so we're having, who's next? Mm, Clau, and then Diego. The 34. 34, yeah, the mother. The mother and her children help one another. One another, okay, the children. Mm -hmm. Sin ese, porque children ya es un plural, es un nombre colectivo. It's a collective noun. Okay. okay. Diego, okay, good one. Diego and then Helen. Okay, number 32. The child and his mother help each other. Yes, of course it is. Helen, then um, we're having Edgar. 35. 35. Our. Our teacher helps us. Yes, helps us, 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 us. Us. Mm -hmm. us and them. Okay, thank you. Edgar, and then we go with Claudita, que se me esconde. <laughs> uh, 27. Okay, 27 is yours. My grandparents love me and my sister. Okay, love me and my sister. Okay, thank you. Claudita, then we go with um, Veronica. Teddy. Teddy. Mm -hmm. Children play in the morning. Yeah, the children play in the morning. Okay, good. Pero and then Andrea. 31. 31. The children play in the morning. The children play. Play. Play, mm -hmm. play in, the in the morning. Good one. Andrea. The doctor helps us. Bien, como aquí está en plural. Es help. Yes. Bien, cada vez que tenés que seguir tu corazón, pero como... Se me olvidó seguir el corazón. No, pues sí, follow your heart. Ahí está la respuesta de todo. Sus problemas. Ok. We continue. Select a correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences. We have three sentences. So, um, there are three people who are going to help you. The first person is going to be easy cheesy. We go with Carmen, select one, and then we go with Helen. She tapes report. Okay, she tapes, mm -hmm. she types, types. Mm -hmm. Okay, she types reports. Yes, aquí está ahí. Uh -huh. Helen, and then we go with Carla. Do she arrived late. Okay. Ajá. Como estamos en tercera persona, vamos a utilizar das. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería, Helen? Das. Y esto se pronuncia arrive. Das. Arrive. Uh -huh. She's. Uh -huh. Okay. Das. She arrived late. Yes. Good one. Okay. Number three. What's number three? No. Yeah. Carla, right? Uh, yes. Do. Does she arrive early. early? Okay. Does she arrive? Mm -hmm. Does she arrive early? Okay. Thank you very much. And we are going to talk about the difference between a secretary and a receptionist. Okay. Así que si hay un par de ideas, me la dicen. But meanwhile, I'm going to take uh, the assistance. Okay. So you tell me, hi, hello, I am alive, I am dying. Lo que ustedes me quieren decir, lo voy a tomar como un signo de vida, okay? Try to think about the difference between a secretary and a receptionist, okay? So, um, Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present. Okay. Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Ah, hello. Carmen. I'm here. Good one. Uh, Clau. Present. Nice, Claudita. Present. Good. Uh, Christian. Present. Thank you. Christian Bogran is absent. I'm sorry. Diana. Ah, Diana, ya decía. Ya decía que no estaba la voz. 
Uh, again, okay, Diego, go Diego. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Dorita. Present. Thank you. Edgar. Hi teacher. Hello, Helen. Mm. Present. Thank you, Helen. Jose Miguel, no. Carla. Mm. Present. Thank you. Kelvin. No, Kelvin is not here. Kevin. Present teacher. Thank you. Leslie, um, another absence. Okay, Marlon. Present. Thank you, Susie. Hi. Hi. And Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, any opinion about the secretary? Any the functions uh, of the secretary um, or the receptionist? Do we have volunteers? Any ideas? Mm, okay. Let's I see. will the first teacher. Okay. Go ahead, please. And then Helen, mm -hmm. please. Okay. Uh, maybe the. Uh, Gregory is like an assistant for the for the boss, and the receptionist is must focus in, in receipt calls and program program meetings. Mm -hmm. I, or... don't, I don't know. He okay. introduced the time staff. Okay, good one. Good one. Uh, okay. The secretary is related to assist, okay, okay. to the boss, That's and the receptionist. Uh, it, it is more focused on receiving calls mm -hmm, and checking the, the the interviews, okay, meetings, okay, nice. Helen, do you have an opinion about this? Thank you, Diego. Um, You're welcome. Me, reports, calls. Okay. Okay, yeah, maybe uh, could it be related to send reports? Yes, mm -hmm. more than more than than created, or maybe typing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but thank you, Helen. Very good. Okay, do we have another opinion to continue? Secretary schedule appointment. Okay, schedules. Yes, schedule schedule appointment. schedule appointment, and that's really important because yes. the boss can't do it. And uh, like, because of that, there is, well, there's a lot of information and the secretary should be very ordered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, yes. thank you. Any other idea? Secretary, receptionist. Okay. One more, one more participation. Clau. Hello, Clau. The secretary in ¿cómo se dice? De, lleva la agenda del jefe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She has like uh, the schedule, the agenda. Mm -hmm. She writes mm -hmm. or, uh -huh. yes, yeah, she's in charge of the agenda, the agenda mm -hmm. of her boss. Okay, and that's it. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, and that's important. Okay, we're going to talk about more uh, related to receptionists and secretaries, but I'm going to present you five seconds. Remember five seconds and try to remember one or two words or phrases or names or whatever you want. Lo que ustedes puedan guardar en su corazón. Five seconds. Okay, yes, more than, more than what? More than enough, más que suficiente. Andrea, para que no digas que te dejo de último. Tell me, Andrea, tell me. Arrive in the office. Yeah. Arrive in the office, ya la tenía lista. Okay. Salud, Susi. Cheers. Saludcita. Okay. Tranquila. Relax. Ya va vos. Okay, Carmen. Well, she's a secretary. Okay, she's a secretary, good one. And Susie, then Marlon. Okay, uh, what does Dominique do? 
Ok, what does the man do? Y lo primero. Mm -hmm. Ok, Marlon, then we go with Dorita. Um, yeah, uh, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Mm -hmm. Ok, very interesting fact. Thank you. Dorita, no me digas que te la ganaron, Dorita. Contame. See you points. Ok, um, quiero decir muy mentís. Como las otras mujeres que me mienten. So, ¿Mm? How did you say? ¿Cómo dijiste? See you point. Ah, I see you, your point. Ah, yes. Sí. Ok, good. Thank you. Carla, do you have something? Then Kevin. Hard working woman. Hard working woman. Ok, como todos ustedes. All of you. Ok, Kevin, then Elder. Do you have an idea, one word or a name? Eh, la diferencia de la secretaria y la... No, no, no. I presented you an image. Le presenté una imagen. Uh -huh. ¿Te recuerdas algo de, de, de esa conversación? No. No. Okay. De, hecho, de hecho, se me descargó el teléfono y me recién... Me no, no problem, no problem. Ok, relax. Edgar, en Mercy. Full pay. Eh, decía, she's... Uh... Are working, algo así. Are okay, working. okay. She's a hard working woman. Yes, merci. Does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? Right yes, early. thank you. Christian. Eh, ya lo dijo Marlon. No. <laughs> she is the first person. Okay, she's el the first person. Es que se la vieja confiable la que utilicen. Okay, el resto ya se van. Marlon no roba las ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ok, what about eh, Claudita? And then Diego, maybe you have an idea of the names or uh, some other information? Yes. Uh, the name, Matt and Sonia. The names are Matt and Sonia. Ok, yes. Mateo. Okay, Matthew. ok, Diego, you have uh, something for us? Mm, I just remember, I see your point. Ok, ok, good. No, es que esta gente, mira, esta gente sí le gana las ideas a uno. Deberían de ser diputados. Sí, se me adelantaron. Tienen muchas ideas ustedes. Ok, sí. ok. Um, quedan bien truqueros. Ok, so here we have uh, Sonia and Matt. I think they are getting divorced. Creo que se están divorciando. But in any case, they have a conversation and they say, mm, what does Dominic do? Well, And she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Exactly. Eh, vamos a ver. Le voy a preguntar a alguien que tenga cara de inocente. Carmen. Sí, dice Carmen. Yes, yes. Ok. Um, Carmen, ¿te recuerdas qué significa la L y la Y? I told Mente. you yes. ¿Mm? Mente. Mente, yes. Y se lleva un adjetivo. Se transforma en Exactamente. Una Exactamente. Yes. Ya ven que no les miento, ya ven. Ok, Matt. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types, types, reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, ahí está el accent. Distress. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first, no fears first person to arrive in the office, okay? So I need you to have a short conversation between Marlon and Susie, okay? Susie, you are Sonia. En otra okay. vez fuiste Sonia. And Marlon, what? you are Matt. Matt Damon. What, what does Dominic do? Uh, well, uh, she's a secretary. Oh. oh, I see. What does she do every day, exactly? Oh, uh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails uh, every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. 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 Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first, the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, that's that's wonderful. Please have a screenshot. We're having a, a short, a brief practice. Vamos a practicar un poco esto. I need to have a screenshot. Like three, three minutes. 
practice. Ok. Una práctica de tres minutos. Easy cheesy. Ok. Ok. Now that you are ready and more than ready. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me see. Um, I'm sorry. Just give me. Vean la conversation para mientras. Check the conversation. So you can have like. Uh, You can have like a, a better idea how to pronounce. Okay, please, I need you to uh, accept the request. Uh, teacher. Dime, dime, Claudia. No tomaste uh, captura. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, ya ves, puedo leer la mente, okay. Mm -hmm. Dale. Dale un momentito. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah? Sí. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. Okay, Berito, I need you to accept the request. Accept la, la solicitud que te me igual tú, Claudia. Okay, Clau, go ahead. Vamos a practicar. You are Sonia and I am, and I am Matt. Okay, you start. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I... Uh -huh. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Yes. Does she arrive early? Arrive. Arrive early. Mm -hmm. Early, early. Yeah. yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay. okay. Ahora vamos a cambiar de... de, de, de. Tú eres eh, lo puesto. Matt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Sonia, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Mm. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your points. Well, she tapes report and sends email every day. She is a how working woman? Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is first person to arrive, arrive in the office. Okay. The first, the first person. The and first, I the first person to arrive, arrive in the office. Arrive in arrive. the office. Okay. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So. Thank you. Vamos a ir a la sala de los, de los grupos. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, um, I will need some of you to read, please, to read uh, the sentences, well, sentences, I mean the words that I have underlined, okay? So Kevin, please select one of these, and then we go with Dorita. Una de las que he subrayado. Exactly. Hard working. Exactly, hard working, thank you. Now we go with Mercy and Helen. The office. Ah, okay. The office. The. Mm -hmm. The office. Yes. Porque aquí va una vocal. The office. Thank you. Helen, then we go with um, Susie. Hard working. Hard working. Hard working. Yes. And Susie? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And what about Christian? Uh, first, okay, good, Diego, and then we go with Carmen. Arrive, arrive, nice, and Carmen, please. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Ya ven, ahí está el tele, el tele, el L, L and Y. Okay, what fictional place would you like to visit? We have some uh, answers left. For example, um. We're having the participation of Susi. Okay, Susi. What fictional okay. place? Okay. I would I would like to visit Hotel Transylvania or the the no sería the poison apple bar of the movie Shrek. The poison ah Shrek Shrek movie. Shrek movie. Donde yeah. sale aquel que dice que es un papucho. Yeah. Susie. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. That's a nice character. Creo que es un personaje muy interesante. Okay, Transylvania Hotel. Okay, thank you. Uh, now, please. Um, Claudia, Carolina, yes. Okay, Claud. You go and then Ana Mercedes. Okay, Claud, tell me the fictional place. Teacher, eh, una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, de, la pregunta es de qué película o. No, not necessary. Ok, eh, I'm asking about a fictional place, o sea, un lugar que sea ficticio, que no sea real y que te gustaría visitar, que puede ser de películas o libros. O de operas o de novelas, si quieren, si han visto La Rosa de Guadalupe, no problem. <laughs> Depende de ustedes. Uh, okay. Disneylandia. Okay, Disney. Okay, Disney. You want to go to Disneyland? Okay, thank you. Okay, even uh, that's a real place. Es un, un lugar real. But, but okay, let, let, let's see. And we go with Chris, Ana Mercedes, and then Christian. Uh, teacher, uh... Era a like visit movie fast in Furious number five. Okay, you would like to visit a, a fast yeah. furious place, fast fast and furious five, Brazil. I yes, think it, it, it takes place in Brazil. Ya me lo había dicho. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, I'm so sorry, Christian, and then Dorita. Uh, Rivendell. Rivendell, okay. Rivendell. Un castillo. Okay. Donde viven elfos. Todos, creo que salen el Señor de los Anillos. Rivendell, sí, donde sale este elfo. ¿Cómo se llama este? Uno que peleó con, con este Sau, eh, Sauron. I don't remember. The, the, the oldest, el más viejo. The Arwen's father. El papá de Arwen, creo que es, ¿verdad? Creo. In this film, creo, I think. Okay. Thank you. Only that one, Christian. Estamos regalando viajes. Mm -hmm. Only that one, okay? What? Solo ese. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, no problem. Dorita, and then Edgar. I would like to visit Kingdom Far, Far Away. Ah, Far, Far Away from Shrek. Shrek movie. Yes. Muy, muy lejano. Uh, yeah, that's the Kingdom of Fiona's parents right 
Los papás de Fiona creo que viven ahí. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Very interesting places. Okay, uh, thank you, Edgar, and then Helen. Uh, I will visit uh, Olympus. Olympus, okay. Good one. <laughs> Hey, yeah. where uh, from, from books, from uh, Greek mythology, from yeah. Hercules or what? Me gusta más quizás la versión de juegos. Eh, me gusta un juego que se llama Dios de la Guerra. Ah, well, well, really, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't played that. But mm -hmm. I think that there is a, a movie. There, there is coming, right? A movie. Creo que viene una película. Creo. I think so. Okay. Nice. Uh, good. And uh, now we Flash. go... Clash of Titans. Clash of Titans. Yes, that's another. I think there are two movies, right? Of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Greek mythology that it is one of the most extended mythology in my in my opinion. It being extensive as a mythology. Thank you. And we go with Carla and Kevin. Helen, ya me lo dijiste. Helen. No. Okay, Helen, sorry. You go. Uh, why do you like um, Harry Potter? Okay, I would like to visit mm -hmm. Harry Potter's, pero la casa de Harry Potter, no creo, quizás <laughs> Howard, sería verdad, Howard. Howard, Sí, yes. donde viven los tíos, no mucho. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. And um, movie, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, The Fat the Furious. Fast and Furious, okay, sí, es una película que le trae. De cumpleaños le voy a regalar ahí una entrada. Sí, pues la próxima. Good, okay. thank you. Thank you, Carla. Uh, thank you, Carla. Helen, Carla, and we finish with Kevin. Sí, es que no me lo he dicho. Um, the visit. Um, Jurassic World. Jurassic World. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I... Go ahead. Yes, yes. Um, el país de nunca jamás. Okay. Uh, el país de nunca jamás. Peter Pan. Mm -hmm. Neverland. Neverland. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Yes, Neverland, yes, Neverland is a Peter Pan place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And we go with uh, Kevin, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, will be Narnia. Okay, Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it is for free. Yeah. It's gratis. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And we go now with this. Uh, we have simple present for third person. Um, and so here, as I mentioned before, como lo mencioné antes, we add, agregamos an S. He checks, uh, Dominic goes, uh, Dominic likes. Okay, we, I can say Dora likes uh, dancing. Uh, Clau likes Fast and Furious Saga and something like that, okay? Um, but for the others, we don't need to add S. Para los, el resto no, no agregamos S. Eh, la letra S es lo que les digo. Las terceras personas son las que siempre molestan. En todo. Literalmente en todo. Okay. So, in this case, they, no, they check. My co-workers go. The employees check or go. Or like, okay. But for simple present question, para las preguntas siempre vamos a utilizar do. We're going to use do. But for third person, que son las terceras personas que siempre lo van a molestar en su vida, does, does, remember that, does, okay, so does he, does she, does Edgar, does Carla, does Diego, does Mercy, okay, and we add a verb, agregamos un verbo, and the complement, mm -hmm. does he check uh, reports, does she check mm -hmm. reports, do we, do you, do they, okay, and here we can use daily activities and schedule events course so we're going to use it we're going to apply this theory in this exercise so we're going to complete the paragraph the paragraph with the words in the box here we have one two three four five and six verdad tres veces three times thrice so from here we have like a, a, a short paragraph así que vamos a agregar unos no por unos Okay, one by one. We're going to start with Carmen. Carmen Sita. Okay. Maybe okay. we can we can go in order. Okay, Carmen, for us to have it from, clear. From, from Monday. Monday to Friday. Dominic. 
¿Qué dice tu corazón? ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice? Listen to your heart. <laughs> Work? No. No. Wake up. Ok. Wake up. Toma una canción de Race Against the Machine. Pero en este caso le vamos a agregar ese. Wake up. Mm, sería wake no. Wakes uh, up. Wakes up. Eso se le llaman phrasal verbs. Los phrasal verbs son verbos que son compuestos por un verbo y una preposición. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí siempre se lo vamos a agregar al verbo. Mm -hmm. Wakes up. Thank you. Wakes up at... At... At what, Carmen? Cita. Uh, at five o'clock. O'clock, a.m. Yes, thank you. Ok, now we go with Dora. And then uh, Kevin. She. She will. No. Mm -hmm. Recuerden que go. Uh, we, we can use three times go. Okay. Uh, she go to work and when she gets there. Okay, thank you. Ahora, como estamos utilizando Dorita tercera persona. No decimos mm, she goes, decimos she, she, she goes, she goes, goes, yes, goes. she goes, mm -hmm. she goes to work and when she gets there, there. ¿Quién le dije que iba después? Mm -hmm. Ah, Kevin, right, okay. She, she checks, yeah. her checks her and, email. And calls. And calls, time. yes. For the clients. Okay, now we go with Edgar and then Diego. Uh, a partir de donde? Okay, a Lisa. call clients in her daily list. Lisa. Lisa and Claudia. Okay. Lisa and Claudia. Go is here. Have no, the no, net. No, 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 work. Yeah, yes. Work, work with? With Dominic. Thank you. Okay, Diego, you go. They? Okay, they got to have lunch together. Yes, they got to have lunch together at? At 4 p.m. Okay, and obviously the last one, Um, let's see, Susie, Dominic. Dominic goes, goes, yes. goes home. Yes, goes home. We all love going home after work. Yes. Thank you. Another worksheet in this case, and here we have the same. We're going to use this. Look at here, my friends. Here we have verbs in parentheses. Miren que bonitas mis líneas. Can you see my lines? How sexy they are, que sexy son. Okay. So you have to use uh, these verbs in here. Yo debería ser artista. Ok. And you, depends on you if you modify them. Si las modifican. Sigan a su corazón. Marlon, you start. Follow your heart, my friend. From one to ten. Um, number four. Ok, go ahead. She lives in Thailand. Yes, in Thailand. Ok, why not? Now, Veronica and then... Um, okay, Veronica and Christian. And two. Okay, he two. He cleans his face every morning. Okay, he cleans. cleans. Yeah. Cleans. Perfect, Veronica. He cleans his face every morning. Okay, now we go with, with, with. Number seven. Okay, Christian, then Carmen. Mm -hmm. He run uh, in the part of their school every day yes he runs runs okay in the part mm -hmm. good perfect carmen and then we go with helen six 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 like maiden song mm -hmm. they like their english teacher yeah i i hope so Espero que a ellos, aparte de they. okay thank you we go with helen and diego Sigue tu corazón, Helen. Vamos, tú puedes. Number five. Number five. Se pronuncia ride. Uh -huh. Aquí depende si lo modificas o no. Uh -huh. He rides 
his bicycle. bike at on the weekend. At the weekend, yes, he rides his bicycle at the weekend. Creo que hay una canción okay. de Queen que se llama I want to ride my bicycle. Creo, I, I guess. Okay, Diego. Queen. Yeah, right. I, I guess. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diego. <laughs> uh, the number number three. Mm -hmm. We start Chinese on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, perfect. And we go now with Andreita que está esperando su oportunidad para brillar. Showtime. And then Mercy. Number nine. 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 I learn English every day. Okay, English. Yes, I English. learn. ¿Qué pasó, Andreita? Tu corazón algo tiene. <laughs> Me falló. No, no ha sanado. Okay, I learn <laughs> English every day. Okay, and Mercy, right? O oh, a quién mencioné? A quién invoqué? Yes, Mercy. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I come to school every day. I go. I come. I come. Yes. Come and feel the noise. I come to school every day. And we have. Two more, not two more, verdad, sino que two more, and Susie, and what about if Veronica? Number eight. Eight. We, we play football after school on Fridays. Yes, school ten. on Friday. Ten, we go to Pat, Pat, Pattaya, Pattaya, Pattaya every weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, uh, mention the characteristics of an ideal employee. Um, we're talking about, um, um, yes, employees, workers, um, maybe your colleagues or yourself even. So I need you to, well, to express ideas about what you consider it is like um, necessary, okay, to have it. So um, I need you to, well, you're going to work in groups, van a trabajar in grupos, groups of, of three, and I need you to express your opinions. Maybe you can express one, two, or three ideas. And I need you, well, I need that one person, one person at least takes notes, okay, like a representative, como un representante, okay, representative and they are going to to express uh, like well that person is going to say like the conclusion or the general opinions of every of every group okay así que vamos a hacer grupo de tres groups of three you give your opinions verdad así que alguien va a ser la secretaria the secretary I don't know sí Verónica creo que tú quieres hacer una pero no sé Ahí va a depender. Depends on you. Volunteer. Ok, volunteer. Sí. Bueno, si su corazón le dice que va. Que sí. Se le contó. Ok. Um, be ready with your ideas. Estén listos con sus ideas. I'm going to create the groups. Ok. For you to have like different partners. It is good to have the same partners, but it is better even when you have new partners and you uh, listen to different kinds of pronunciation. Es bueno escuchar este tipo de pronunciación. Así que a la relaja la voy a poner aparte. No se preocupe. Hmm. Y Salami me vuelve a ver, no molesta. No, no, no. I'm, I'm creating the groups. Come on, Susi, mira. Esa es su conciencia. Sí, sí, mira, yo creo que Susi. I think Susi um, has like, uh, she's very, sleep, well, she has sleep, sleepless nights. Tiene noches así sin sueño. Tiene como que le cuesta. Se, se levanta en la madrugada. Supera que estoy con un ojo abierto y el otro cerrado, no mata el sueño. De verdad, bueno, ya voy a hacer preguntas. Mm, ya voy a hacer preguntas de las propias para que le quite el sueño. Ok, mm, let's see one. Ok, I'm going to. Let me see here. Okay. Go ahead.
With, with, an initiative. with initiative. With initiative. Uh huh. Who is and the secretary? The I'm sorry, Carmen. Who is the secretary in this group? ¿Quién es la uh -huh. eh, no, no lo hemos decidido. Yo, uh -huh. yo pienso que podría ser Andrea. Ah, uh, quien tenga más sueño. Ok, quien tenga más sueño en el grupo. La Susi, pero no está aquí. Ah, no, no. <risa> ah, ya me malearon a Clau. Ya me la malearon. <risa> ok. And the other, Claudia. Responsable. Yo los que tengo son honest, de honesto, responsable, eh, responsable. Efficient y eficiente. Uh, good customer service. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Keep a good customer service. Ok. Mm -hmm. Bueno, entonces tú no representarás. Bueno, no, Diego. Ok. Ok, Diego wants to participate. Or... Yes. Tenemos varias, varias. Es que ustedes tres son tímidos. I know that you're so shy. Okay. Very shy, believe it or not. Ah, ajá, ok, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, you're done, guys. You're done? Finish. Yes, please. we're done. Perfect. Ok, perfect. Just a couple of minutes for the rest of the groups to finish because they are in that process, ok? Ok. Ok, ok. Ok, good. Okay. Ahorita chambran un poquito en inglés. Okay. Responsible. Responsible. For activity, me dijo, verdad? Sí. Diligent, Creativo. Diligent, punctual, proactive, cheerful, responsible. Eh. Y como usted solo me dijo, vaya usted a escribir. Vaya. Oh. ¿Qué? ¿Quién es la mala influencia acá? ¿Quién es la mala influencia? Todos me obligaron a ser el secretario a la fuerza solo porque sí. Solo porque ya son dos mujeres y un hombre. Sí, las la mujeres así son. Yes, yes. Así son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ok, no problem. Así toca. Uno así de, de, se aprovechan de los humildes. Sí. Pero él, no. él dijo la primera sí, no se negó. Entonces. ¿Qué voy a hacer? He's a gentleman, es un caballero, ya ve, con placer. Ok, ok, yes. good. In a couple of seconds, en un par de segundos, ok. Ok. Hello, Verónica. Teacher, hello. Mm -hmm. Ok, you're done, right? You finish? Yeah. Ok. Yeah. No problem. A question, Verónica. Have you taken a, an English course before? Come. Uh, did you have, oh, were you in an English course before? ¿Estuviste en un curso de inglés antes? No. No. Ah, en el módulo uno. No, no, I mean besides this. Ah, de otro, no. No, okay, okay. So you, the English you know is because of the, of the university? The university in high ah, in university, básico. Basic, yes, I know it is very basic. Oh, Even sí. in high school, it's really okay. basic. Okay. Este practico más ayudándole a, a los niños en las Yes, <laughs> yes. Believe me, we can learn by ourselves por nosotros mismos. Now that we have internet, believe me, I learn different things by uh, searching or looking for uh, those. Well, yeah, different things on internet. Yes, that you can learn. Ok, so that's nice. Bien, aquí tenemos esta gente que rápido me perverten a los demás. Yes, I can see that. Me obliga, obligan a los demás a hacer cosas, ya lo vi. Pobre Kevin, ahí me lo estaban acosando. So, ok. So, let's see who is going to be the first representative. Yo creo, ¿a quién me obligaron? Vamos a ver, ¿a quién? A ver. Let's listen to the victims. Listen to the victims. Vaya, Claudita parece diputada. Ok, Claudita, you go. 
A mí me obligaron estos no, señores. Sí, no, I know, yeah. That's for sure. Por seguro. Pobrecita. Ah. You are the victim. Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay, we came to the conclusion that an ideal employer is proactive, responsible, and efficient. Okay, okay, let me show you something. Okay, uh huh. You said efficient, responsible, mm -hmm. responsible, and proactive. Right? Yes. Those are like the main the main characteristics. Okay. So that's uh, the characteristics of an ideal employee. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Okay. Another victim. Another. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, Ver Vero Veronica. Mm -hmm. Characteristic of um ideal employee. Dynamic. Dynamic. Diligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Diligent. Punctual. Cheerful, okay. ability to work in a team. Yes, okay, punctual, como punch. Punctual. Punctual, yes. Yeah, yes, uh, yes, able uh, to work in a team. That's important. Team. There are a lot of excellent employees or excellent professionals or excellent workers, but they can't work in teams. And that's so important, okay? Yes. Because, yes, uh, at work, you have to... You, you should or you must have a good relationship between your colleagues. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vero. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Who else? Vamos a ver. Another victim of fight. Me. Okay, um, Andrea and then Diego. Andreita, por Oh, okay. I'm so sorry for you. Me pasó igual a Claudia. Yes, no, that's it. No, hubo <laughs> votación, teacher. Hubo votación. No, ah, really? Oh, Carmen, I don't think so. Well, I'm not sure about it. Teacher, a mí me eligieron por piedra, papel y tijera. ¿Crees que no? Pues creo entonces, que sí, pues creo que sí. Entonces lo de ella fue peor. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's the politics. Uh, that's the political way. Forma política. Ok. Eh, Andreita. An wow. ideal employee should organize. Should. Mm -hmm. Así organize. sería. Mira, Andreita, pero antes que nada, por, por los demás, should. Should. Mm -hmm. yes. An ideal employee should, should eh, eh, organize it responsible and with initiative. Ok. An ideal employee should be, yes, organized uh, with initiative. And what is the, the other? I'm sorry. I don't remember. Responsible. Responsible. Yes, like the teacher. Yes, of course. Of course. So that's, uh, that's like, uh, that's mandatory. Eso es como obligatorio. Okay, good. We have Diego, another victim of the bullying of the uh, team. I was volunteering. Oh, okay, you were volunteer. Good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Con condición, uh, digo. Agree and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. We are agreeing. Employee. Should be smart. Should to be efficient. Should to be proactive. And should to be creative. And she likes to shake manufacturing process and give a good customer service. Okay, all the that, time. that's fine. I think I like creative. Yes, creative yeah, because mm -hmm. maybe you have some tasks and you have to develop them, but depends on the way you do it. Depende cómo hacen las tareas, cómo, cómo hacen las funciones. Okay, so yeah, those uh, I consider that those are good creative. characteristics. Yes. And you said, okay, okay. you said uh, customer service, right? Able to give mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to uh, customer service. Yes. And that's, that's really important too. Okay, thank you. Nice, yep. uh, nice information. Uh, and what about, uh, do we have another team? And what about Christian's team? 
Dorita's team. Ya, yeah, already done. Ya pasaron todos. Ok. Siento que alguien me está haciendo mexicano. Ok. No problem. ¿Qué, Kevin falta. Ah, ya. Ah, Kevin, ya te malearon. Ok, Kevin. Go ahead, my friend. You go. Ok, Mercy say professional in the work. Puntual, friendly. Carla say kind, responsible, helpful, uh, respectful, organized. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, respectful. Yeah, punctual, punctual. Yes, all of them are like very basic and important uh, features or characteristics of an ideal employee. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, of course. I want to uh, show you something. We have these words. We have these words and they have something in common that they have silent letters, tienen letras silenciosas. So the pronunciation is should, not should. Should. L is a silent letter. O as well, también. La O y la L son letras silenciosas. So should, would, could. Should, would, could. That's important. Okay, like this. Should. Mm -hmm. Um. Obviamente no es si consignos fonético, pero para que es for you to have an idea how to pronounce should, would, could. Okay, should, would, could. And besides that, I want to share with you uh, words that are um, like very useful, son bastante, son bastante importantes. This one. Should means debería. For example, if you want to give an advice, si quieren dar un consejo, advice, you say, um, for example, uh, imagine there is a person that he's always late. Una persona que siempre está, llega tarde a trabajar. A late comer, late comer. Let's imagine that, I'm not saying that it is true, but let's say, Mercy, digamos que Mercy llega tarde. Digamos, let's say, let's suppose, I know it is not true. But Mercy comes uh, or arrives late. And the advice should be, el consejo sería, Mercy, you should wake up earlier. Debería de levantarte más temprano. Okay? So that's one advice. Okay? When we use must, it means debes or debe, okay? Debe. So it's when you give an opinion about something that uh, it is like mandatory. It's casi como obligatorio, okay? So for example, uh, your boss may say, um, Susie, you must complete uh, the report for this week. Debe de terminar el reporte o completar el reporte esta semana. And when you when your boss uses have, it's because it's, well, it's a matter of life and death. Es, es un, una cuestión de vida o muerte. Have, you have to. For example, Andrea, you have to complete your, your what? Your goal. Si tienes una meta, tienes que cumplirlo. You have to finish, uh, well, your, your task today. Hoy la tienes que terminar. Okay, so should, debería, must, debe, have, tienes que, tienes que, okay, so that's it, o tiene que. So you, and remember, should, would, could, please, should, would, could, okay. So um, 25 minutes and we finish, okay, we just have 25 minutes to finish this and we have more sentences and we're going to start with Susie because she is so proactive and then we go with Marlon. Por ahí vi el baby de Susie. Se parece a ti, Susie. Okay. No se quiere dormir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Igual que la mamá. Okay. So, go ahead. N number 11. 11, go ahead. He comes to the gym every morning, Monday. Monday. <laughs> okay, good. Marlon, then Christian. Number 12. Yeah. 
Todd likes to watch a movie on Saturdays. Yes, I think I like to. Yes, Scott, Scott Rose. And Christian Wright and then Dorita. Number three. Numero 18. 18, yeah. We ride uh, our bicycle to a school every day. Yes, our bicycle. Bicycle to school every day. Yes. And they are very healthy. So, bien saludables. Okay, Dorita and then Edgar. Okay, number 17. Okay. Um, I run to a school every day. Okay, I run. Run. I run. Yeah, school every day. Okay, good. Edgar and Veronica. Uh, uh, 20. Huh? Uh, she study computer every Monday. Yes, she studies. Mm -hmm. she, she studies. Studies. Yeah, <laughs> computer every month. Monday. Okay. Veronica, and then we go with uh, Diego. 13. 13, okay, Mary. Mary goes to school five times a week. Yes, Mary goes to school, yes, school five times a week, okay, yes. And we go with Diego then Carmen. Okay, number 15, they clean their classroom on Fridays. Mm -hmm. On Fridays, okay, that's it. That's the life of our students normally at public, public schools. In escuelas públicas normalmente, esa es la vida. Okay. Nice. Uh, Carmen. Carmencita. Then. Um, 19. Then Clau. Mm -hmm. 19. John plays tennis on Sundays. Yes. John plays tennis on, on, on Sundays. And we go with Clau. Mm -hmm. And then we go with Andrea. 14. Fourteen. We. Fourteen. We live in Thailand. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's Thailand. Good. Okay, Andreita. Number. Hi. <laughs> ah? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, mujer. Okay, I think that is uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. She learns the guitar. On Saturday. Saturdays, yeah, that's it. I Andre. Yes. She learns the guitar on Saturdays. Okay. Eso me recuerda. That remembers me that I have to practice with my guitar. Ya no practicado. I haven't practiced. Okay. We're having a conversation. 22 minutes and we finish, my dear friends. So I will present you a conversation for us uh, to, well, to practice, um, to practice a little bit about conversations and pronunciation. Just let me show you what. Okay. Um, here we have four conversations. They are short, really short conversations. So we have we have number one, okay, and number two. Let's check. Do we have? I'm going to. I'm going to show you the words that maybe could be like tricky. Mm, yes. I think uh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. The word there. I think they are very easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm I'm under I'm highlighting the words that I consider that should, can be tricky. Que puede ser como, como medio complicaditas. Okay. And what about for uh, this one? Maybe. Okay, and here we have design software, design software, enjoy, 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 pay, think. Some people say think. I prefer you to say 
think on set of zapato. Think, think. Both, both. Sales, sales. Dealership, hours. Downtown, countryside. Okay, so I need you to help me by reading conversation number one. Uh, let's have Kevin and let's have Mercy. Kevin, you are the man. Mercy, you are the woman. And for number two, Helen. Helen, you are the woman. And, and Edgar, you are the man. Ok, se lo digo con anticipación para que desde ya tenga una idea de qué van a decir. Ok, uh, yes. Eh, Mercy se le acaba de apagar la computadora. Oh, Mercy. Ok, no problem. Entonces nos va a ayudar Verónica. Verónica, please. Thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme. En, en conversation two, sorry. Eh, sí, ¿quién iba a la primera? Iba Edgar, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, ¿con quién ibas, Edgar? No sé. Ok, Edgar and Verónica, number one. And for number two, we have Kevin and... ¿Quién más? Ok, Kevin and André. Ok. Mm -hmm. uh, what do yes. you do? Ok, so you... I work at... Ah. Tesh Company. Uh, uh, okay, could, could you start again, please? Podrían comenzar de nuevo, please. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. What do you do? I work at Tesh Company. Oh, what do you do there? I design work software. Do you like your job? Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, yeah. That's nice. Okay, for conversation number two. And for number three, I will need the help of Marlon and Susie. Okay, number two. Okay. Showtime. You work here? Yes. Yes, I do. Where do I pay? Where do I pay my bill? You pay it over there. Do I need to show ID? I don't think you do. Okay, good. Okay, number three. Okay, Marlon. And for number four, I will need Diego and I will need Carmen. Okay. What do your parents do? They both work in sales. Oh, what do they sell? They both sell cars. They have a car dealership. dealership. Dealership together. Do they do they like it? Yes, but they work long hours. Yes, but they work long hours. Como todos nosotros. Okay, for number four, please. Um, the last team. Where? Okay. Where do you live? I live downtown with my family. Nice. Do you live in an apartment or house? I live in a house, but we need more space. Uh, do you want to move? Yes, we want to move to the countryside. Yes, countryside. Okay, I need you to have a screenshot, please, from conversation one and two, my friends. Please. We have just 16 minutes and we finish. 16 minutes y terminamos. Ya vamos con la última práctica, okay? Screenshot for conversation one and two. Repeat. I'm mm, sorry. No, no, no. Screenshot. Necesito que uh. tomen capturas de pantalla para que lo tengan y practiquemos. Ya sería la última práctica, okay? And we are about to finish. Ya vamos a terminar. Okay, I think we are done. And now we go with conversation three and four. So we can have this, this dialogue ready. Okay, nice. 
wonderful. So now that you are ready with your with your conversations, I will set the teams, well, the couples, the pairs. Voy a ver las parejas ahorita para que puedan practicarlo. Y recuerden, ustedes lo practican una vez y después si, si como a veces les doy más tiempo porque hay otros que necesitan un poquito más de práctica. Entonces, please, you can interchange uh, the dialogues. Pueden intercambiar los diálogos, ¿verdad? No problem, ¿verdad? Si alguien fue man, después puede ser woman. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, ¿ok? Uh, the objective of these activities uh, is mainly to practice and to pronounce better and to correct. Okay, so that's why um, I get into different groups. Por eso que me meto en los diferentes grupos para ver si puedo ayudar si tienen alguna duda. Okay, so uh, please, I I need it now to practice a little bit. Practicen ahorita, verdad, con micrófono apagado y para que todo salga bastante bien, with no problem. Okay, I see you in a couple of minutes. Te veo un par de minutos. Claudia Ventura, hello. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Vaya, Claudita. Yo voy a ser el conejillo de Indias contigo. Ok. Go ahead. Me corrige porque no me recuerdo cómo era bot. Bot, bot. Así, con Z, bot. Bot, eh, bo Z, bot. Bot, ok. Both. Uh -huh. Seguí tu corazón, mujer. Ok. Ay, Dios, fracasamos. <risa> Come on, you can do it. Tú puedes, tú puedes. Okay. Empieza usted con la conversación. Uno. Es que estoy esperando que te inspire. Ok, Go ahead. Ay, Ya estoy inspirada. <risa> nice. What do you do? I work at the tech company. Oh, what do you do there? I design uh, software. Do you like your job? Yeah, I join it. Okay, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yes. And do you work here? Yes, I do. Where do I pay my bill? You pay in over day. Do I need to show my ID? I don't think you do. Okay. Think, what? Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, think. think, think, yes, think. think. Okay. La K que se escucha al final. Esa es la clave del éxito. Think. Okay, what do your parents do? They bought, work, and sell. Oh, what do they sell? They bought, sell car. They have a car dealership together. Dealership. Dealership together. Do they like it? Yes, but they work long hours. Where do you live? I live downtown with my family. Downtown, downtown. Da downtown. Yes, downtown, okay. Um, nice, do you live in an apartment or house? I live in a house, but we need more space. Do you want to move? 
Yes. Yes, we want to move on the countryside. To the countryside. countryside. Perfect. Bien, Claudita, fíjate que siento que has mejorado. De verdad. Sí, sí. Siento que lo decís más fluido, fíjate. Más, más fluido. Más ah. así como más segura. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yo creo okay. que más natural. También, ya, yeah, it's part of that. Es, es parte de eso. Bien, Claudita, bien. Lo que pasa sí, es que cierto. Como... Uh -huh. Hay que practicar las palabras nuevas. Sí. Eso es lo que... Uh -huh. Sí, pero te das cuenta que en esas conversaciones siempre hay algunas palabras nuevas. Entonces uno siempre, no, sí, eso, no, eso es bueno. No tenés que ponerte nerviosa. No, no relájate, aunque la pronuncies más mejor. Relax, dale. Uh -huh. La actitud es lo, la cuestión. Vamos, intercambiamos. You start. Okay. Um, do you work here? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Number one. Uh -huh. What do you do? I work at a tech company. Oh, what do you do here? There. Uh, there. I design there. so I design software. Do you like your work, John? Uh, yeah, I enjoy it. Enjoy. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Where do you pay my bills? Do you pay it over there? Do I need to show ID? Show ID. I don't. I don't think you do. What do you, what do your parents do? They both work in sales. Oh, what do you sell? Uh, they both sell cars. They have a car dealership together. Do you, they like it? Uh, yes, but they work long hours. Where do you live? I live downtown. With my family. I teach it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Do you live in the apartment or house? Do you live? Live. Mm -hmm. Live on apartment yes. or house? I live in a house, but we need more space. Do you want to move? Yes, we want to move to the countryside. Country. ¿Qué es countryside? Countryside es el campo, es la zona rural. Ah, campo. Downtown uh, es el centro, es como San Salvador. El centro, sí. Y es el centro. Countryside. Countryside es el campo, ¿verdad? La, la zona rural. ¿Y solo country? Country es, country significa país. Ah, uh -huh. uh, ok. De hecho hay un género que se llama country. Sí, una. The, una... the Credence, uh, CC Top, um, parece, pare, The Eagles, yeah. Bien. Muy bien, Claudita. Seguí así, seguí así, mujer, me llega. Va con Thank todo. you. Eso, excelente. Bueno, te veo otro rato. Bye, bye. Ok, thank you, my friends. I want to explain you something. Quiero explicarles algo. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but yesterday I sent you a, a PDF document in which you have it. Uh, es que es el manual. That's the manual. Y es de la siguiente manera. El manual, the manual is uh, the one that we use for classes. Es el que nosotros utilizamos para las clases. Eh, normalmente nosotros, eh, well, cubrimos, we cover two pages each class. Cubrimos dos páginas cada clase. ¿Verdad? Como pueden ver, aquí está. Ahí sale Susi, ¿verdad? Hace mucho tiempo ahí le tomaron la foto. Ok, so, and here we have this. Ah, feita soy. No, no, ahí es que ya está, ya está. Eso es extra. Ok. So, mira, esto es así bien elevado. Me llega, estás ya dicho, desde la actitud. Carmencita, pero lo mandé al grupo, Carmencita. No es que creo. creo que ya se unió después. Sí, yo me uní después. Mm. Ok, lo voy a, a... Lo vamos a reenviar. Yo creo, eh, Susi se o se la envío a ella personalmente, no hay problema. Ah, mm -hmm. Le envías otras cosas también. Hay cosas, el, un piolín o algo así. Ok, so... Las fotos. La foto. <risa> ah, no, no, eso no. Ok, so here we have the units. Tenemos las unidades, ¿verdad? Lo que vamos a trabajar, las competencias que son... Eh, pues las competencias que ustedes tienen que desarrollar, por ejemplo, describe regular activities, describe everyday situations, cosas que son prácticas, pero lo vamos a, eh, a reforzar. And I want to show you this. Esto es lo que vimos el día de, de ayer. Yesterday we studied this, okay? You remember Sofía and Mario? 
Y aquí, pues, aquí dice el tema. Eso es bien importante por si no lo han captado. I will be able to, ¿verdad? Eh, seré capaz de describe regular activities in the workplace. Uh -huh. Y tenemos normalmente en cada clase trabajamos dos páginas. It means this, quiere decir esto, and this one, ¿ok? Y al final, de, después de, 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 de las dos páginas, aparece self-assessment, que dice, now I can describe regular activities in the workplace. Dice que ahora yo puedo describir actividades regulares en el lugar de trabajo. Y aquí dice, eh, si lo pueden hacer independientemente, con ayuda pues, ocasional o solo con ayuda. O sea, hay tres maneras como ustedes pueden ver eh, qué tanto han avanzado, ¿verdad? Si lo pueden hacer independientemente, con un poco de ayuda o solo con ayuda. Si lo hacen eh, independientemente es porque ustedes son pro. Si lo hacen con ayuda es porque pues sí están aprendiendo, pero necesitan asistencia. Y si lo hacen solo con ayuda, ¿verdad? O sea, este objetivo y todo lo del contenido, lo que hemos hablado, entonces es que sí necesitan un poquito más de refuerzo y más práctica. Ok, so that's it. And I'm going to check the attendance list to finish, ¿verdad? Reviso la lista de asistencia. And we go to bed. Vamos ya. Yo en una consulta. Ya. Yeah. Eh, como cada viernes, eh, como que hay un límite de enviar, desde en el módulo pasado eran las cuatro actividades. Ya, pero... ya. Yeah, yeah. eh, ahora en cambia. Este caso son dos. Sí, fíjate que cambia, Marlon, porque antes comenzamos lunes, ¿verdad? Lunes, uh, from Monday to Friday, so you have five homework, uh, tienes cinco. cinco tareas. Uh -huh. Y de ahí yo sacaba una nota el viernes, que no es que la calificaba, simplemente la, la tomaba de la plataforma y, le, y pues la agregaba en un documento que me piden ahí, pues, eh, mis jefes. En este caso, pues, solo tienen que hacer dos actividades. Uh, have, as I have told you before, you can do it in advance. Pueden hacerlo por adelantado. Y I, I really recommend that. I strongly okay. recommend. Mm -hmm. Le recomiendo eso. Que lo hagan eh, por adelantado. Es mejor ir adelantando y no atrasándose. Y recordarles que ustedes si fallan en una tarea, pueden volverla a hacer. Eso es lo, lo genial de esa plataforma, ¿verdad? Que si a veces okay. uno puede fallar, you can do it again. pueden hacerla de nuevo. Y mejoran su nota. Ese es el punto porque recuerden que debe tener un 80% de nota. Aunque en el módulo pasado casi todos lo pasaron con 100, ¿verdad? Quiere decir que aprendieron o estuvo buena la copia. Pero yo creo que sí aprendieron. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Yes. Gracias. En el módulo anterior nos, nos enviaban las presentaciones. ¿Usted no las envía? Si la necesitan, se las puedo enviar. Ok, no problem. Para que tengan un refuerzo. ¿Verdad? Okay. El módulo pasado no lo hice, ¿verdad? Pero lo puedo hacer. If you, if you okay. wish. Si desean, ¿verdad? Para que tengan el vocabulario y todo eso. Ok. okay. Solo la primera no le puedo enviar donde sale mi foto. Esa no. Okay, so please say hello, hi, um, Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Okay, merci. Solo que te voy a, voy a, bueno, la próxima clase te, te, te pones Ana Mercedes, oíste, pero te vamos a decir merci. Okay. Okay. Veo que te gusta que te digan merci. Good, <laughs> cariño, nice. That's your nickname. Okay, Andrea, no está esta mujer. Hi, teacher. Carmen. Present. Thank you. Uh, Clau. Present. Nice. Claudita. Lars. Is me. Great. See you. Christian. Hello, my friend. Present. Nice. Perfect. Christian, we're going to note here. Diana, I'm sorry. Diego. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Dorita. Present. Nice. Edgar. Here. Good. And Helen. Present. Nice. Carla. Thank you. Hello. Hello. And Kevin. Present. Thank you. Let's see up here. Marlon. Present. Good. Susie. Present teacher. Vero. Hello, Verito. Present teacher. Okay. Enjoy your vacation. Disfruten las vacaciones. Al menos tomen un día para dedicarse a, a su paz mental, encontrarse con ustedes mismos, con su yo interior, equilibrarse. And I see you after vacation. Después de vacaciones, si pueden. Si pueden. Ustedes pueden hacerlo. Okay. Nos vemos.
Cuando regresamos, teacher. Ok, good night, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm going to text it. Lo voy, a, lo, 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 voy a, lo voy a decir, pero seguramente después de vacaciones, creo que es el 9, me parece. Ok. So, good night. Yes. Good night, teacher. Bye. Cuídense. Good night, teacher. Good night. Disfruten. Good night. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your vacations. Nos vemos en la playa. Bye. Yeah, drink a lot, drink a lot, do it. Okay, unfortunately, the person, the participant who was supposed to be here uh, attending to the 10 minute session uh, was not able to connect. Um, so I'm going to make a brief review of what we studied in this class. So it is important to always expand the vocabulary. And for that reason, I, I seldom present different phrases, words, um, to, for, for them to acquire new vocabulary. So in, so in this case, it is ways to say, I think. Uh, instead of saying, I think that is, a uh, very common phrase, uh, really useful, but um, it is like so common. So that's why participants may say, I believe, I guess, the way I see it, I am of the opinion that as I see it, I consider, it seems to me that I'm convinced that, I'm convinced that. We study um, daily routines at work, especially activities that uh, can be performed on Mondays. As, as it is presented in here, number one, check my email type a letter, write a report, okay, attend a meeting, call client, read a report, visit client, organize meetings. So in this exercise number five, it says, uh, complete the sentences below with one activities from the box, compare your answers with a partner, so here we have, for example, number one, I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. And that's it. In order to have a reinforcement related to affirmative statements and negative statements, uh, it was presented a brief chart 
in which uh, the main focus was point to the third person verbs con conjugation. He lives, she lives, it lives. He doesn't live, she doesn't live, it doesn't live, okay? So you can say, I live, I don't live, I, don't, I live, I don't live. You live, you don't live, we live, we don't live, you live, you don't live, they live, they don't live. Also here we have uh, sentences to practice. This is part of the a worksheet to practice, okay? And also there is a brief exercise in which it says select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences. So here we have uh, she type of types reports and do or does, uh, well, in sentence number one, it says she types reports. Number two, mm, does she arrive late? Number three, does she arrive early? We discussed about uh, the difference between the secretary, a secretary and a receptionist. And we have like interesting opinions about this in which uh, participants um, expressed different ideas, a variety of ideas. For example, a secretary is a person who schedules meetings, interviews, uh, and as well, it's a person uh, who organizes events, sends emails, sends invitations, call clients even, and everything regarding to assisting the bus. Meanwhile, a receptionist is a person who attend uh, a person who attend to customers, especially mm, like a front desk clerk in the main entrance of a hotel, the office, right? So uh, he or she, mainly uh, a woman, and gives direction where a person or a, a yeah, customer, a visitant, and may find a specific and specific office or a department. So let's see. We had also a conversation uh, regarding what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. 